You guys brought Chester Rogers in, uh, added him to the practice squad yesterday. He's a veteran guy. Uh, how quickly can you get a guy like that up to speed, and what kind of things does he bring to the table? Um, I think obviously he brings experience to the table. Uh, he's actually playing some NFL games. Uh, he understands uh, the preparation that's involved. Um, in regards to how fast uh, he, he can get him up to speed, um, that's really up to him. You know, it depends on how much he can handle and how much you can throw at him. And then some of the guys that uh, you've been kind of shuffling uh, back and forth between the roster and the practice squad, Batson, Westbrook, and Hollister. How have those guys done with, with that role and, uh, and I guess just kind of the back and forth that goes along with it? You know, really those guys have done a nice job of really taking advantage of the opportunity, uh, being prepared, uh, being ready to answer the call. Uh, Cam did some really nice things for us. Um, you know, Khalif continues to give us, you know, solid, solid reps. And, and you know, Nick uh, has some plays of note as well uh, offensively. So, I, I mean, I thought those guys stepped in and, uh, and made some timely plays when they could. Glennon. Hey, Rob. Um, question for you guys. have seen a lot of success in, uh, you know, end of game, um, end of half, two-minute kind of situations. Wondering what your thoughts are on, on um, the way you guys practice and, and how that – those kind of drills and how it appears to translate well into, into games. Well, I think one of the things that uh, Coach Rabel does a great job is, is, is really, uh, you know, making sure uh, our guys are prepared for, you know, all the different situations that we face. Obviously, two-minute, uh, you know, is one of those situations that, you know, can win or lose games for you. So, you know, obviously it's a major emphasis of, of something that we really focus on uh, in practice and preparing for the different situations. And I think it's uh, really just a microcosm of the work that we that we put in uh, throughout the course of, co uh, throughout the, course of uh, the virtual meetings as well as uh, training camp. And yeah, maybe just to be even more specific, I guess, in terms of wide receivers, what, what is most important for the wide receivers to, you know, have in mind to keep as priorities in those, in those types of situations? Um, you know, I, I think it really, you know, starts and finishes with Ryan. You know, Ryan does a great job of communicating with those guys, of, uh, of making sure they all understand uh, where he wants them and, and the timing of it and what the expectation is on each concept. Uh, I think those guys buy in and, and they have a great understanding of what he wants. Uh, and they're trying to be in those appropriate spots uh, when the time's called for. Thanks. Buck? Hey, Coach. Thanks for doing this. Uh, how have you, uh, what have you seen from Corey the past couple weeks uh, in the way that he's stepped up and, uh, and been able to make big plays in the passing game for you guys? Um, you know, I, I just think he's, you know, taking advantage of the opportunities that, he, that he's given. Um, you know, he came back. Um, you know, he's still, you know, working his way in, in terms of his conditioning and getting himself back from that standpoint and, and also some of the nuances and some of the technique things that come along with it. Um, you know, but, you know, I think it, you know, it's obvious that, you know, he's kind of kept his focus uh, while he was out of practice. And, uh, you know, now he's on his way back to really being more, more of a disciplined route runner and uh, continuing to make plays for us. What have you observed about his connection with Corey? It, it, obviously difficult to go from one quarterback to another over the course of last season. How, how much have you seen that grown um, in their time together since? Um, yeah, I think they, they're starting to get some familiarity arity, arity with each other. And I think, uh, you know, for the most part, um, you know, Corey and, his, and, and Ryan are really developing a, a relationship, that kind of quarterback relationship you got to have where a lot of times some things are unspoken and you just have a, a feel for, for uh, what that player is going to do or what your quarterback wants. And I think that's starting to develop with those guys. Thanks, Coach. Teron? Yeah, what's up, Coach Rob? The, uh, the ball distribution in these first couple games, it's, it's, it's been really good. What are your thoughts on, you know, the group that you have as far as everybody being able to contribute? Well, why is that? Uh, yeah, I, I love the guys that I have in my room. Uh, I think they all, you know, uh, have different skill sets. 
you know, and I think um, it's a culmination of when you put all those guys on the field with different skill sets, um, the different strengths and weaknesses out there. And I think uh, Ryan has a great grasp of, of, of uh, what those are. And, um, you know, Art does a great job of putting those guys in situations where they can play to their strengths. So, um, you know, I think that's, you know, probably the biggest reason is, is that, uh, you know, Art and Ryan have a pretty good understanding of, of who those guys are as players, and we put them in positions uh, to be effective. Uh, some of the, the receivers throughout the league that I've talked to, they, they say, well, you know, when I have this guy as my quarterback, even if I'm the fourth read, I better be ready because the ball could come my way, and it very well may. Is that something that, that like a conversation you have with these guys in regards to Tannehill? Uh, oh, no doubt about it. Um, and he's a, a quarterback that gets through the progression. You know, and he may go from one to four in, in a heartbeat. You know, and those guys understand that. So if it's anything that they know, um, it's the fact that they have to be where they're supposed to be at any given play. Um, and if you're there, he's going to get you the ball. He doesn't, he doesn't look at the jersey number or who you are. He throws it to the open guy. And as a receiver, you love playing for a quarterback like that. Thank you. Gentry? Yeah, Coach, with uh, with A.J. out this last game, was was the plan all along to play Batson uh, as many snaps as he did, or did he kind of earn that through the course of the game? You know, I, you know our mantra and it's something Coach Rabel, you know, really, you know, dials, you know, brings home with these guys is the fact that, you know, it's the next man up. Um, you're on this roster, you know, it's for a reason, and that's to contribute to the team. And these guys, uh, when they get the opportunity, um, they stepped up big for us the last couple of games, and I expect that to, to continue as a, as the year progresses. Uh, do you feel like he, you know, had a good game, kind of made the most of the opportunity from what you saw? Him? Yeah. Oh, without question. Uh, we go back, and uh, he made some timely plays for us. He caught that dagger route. Uh, which was a big play in the game for us, helped us move the chains and, and really helped us cross the 50-yard line to get in the strike zone. Um, and believe it or not, you know, one of the things that won't step, show up in the stat sheet is some of the things he did in the run game and blocking. Uh, and he, he lacks the size, but uh, he's got a big heart. He's tenacious, um, and he's a gritty football player, and it showed up on Sunday. You know, when a guy, I guess he's about 5'8", when a guy's that size – does he does he often get overlooked? I mean, does he have to kind of prove it maybe more than a guy who, who on paper looks to, to, to be more of a you know prototypical receiver? No, I think the the, the key to this game is is you have to play to what your skill sets are. You know, Cam's game is speed, quickness, uh, and he has a, a level of grittiness that you don't find in a lot of smaller receivers, uh, which gives him an edge and an advantage. Um, and I think he does a, you know, he does a great job of, of playing to his strengths and understanding who he is as a player and, and not trying to play outside of that. Jim? Hey, Rob, appreciate your time. I, I guess I'm asking about Anthony, um, about Adam Humphreys. Just, you, you, he'd been in the league for a while, I guess, when he got to you. What would you think about him from afar? And, maybe what's kind of stood out about him since, you know, since you've been working with him? Um, you know, Adam's a, a consummate pro. Uh, he, he comes to work every day. He's ready. He's prepared. Um, you know, he asks great questions. Um, you know, he's well-informed going into games. Uh, he's a disciplined route runner. Uh, all the little things uh, that you need to be great at in this league. Uh, you know, he does a great job of being ready in those areas. And, um, and you know, he's starting to show a little bit more versatility as well. Uh, we're starting to use him a little bit more um, in some of the 21 and 12 packages. Um, so, um, you yeah, know, I think he's, he's done a good job of, of fitting in and, and, and allowing us to use him in, in ways he wasn't used in Tampa. And, and, and one on AJ, I, I know he wants to play, competitive guy. How did you kind of keep his head up last week and, and how much is he chomping at the bit to get back out there? You know, I think, you know, he's, uh, you know, he understands that, that uh, you know, that it's really up to, you know, the doctors in, in regards to, you know, when he gets back out there, he's got to control the things he can control. And, and the only thing that is, is is really being locked in in his playbook, understanding that when he does get back, uh, whether it's this week or next week, uh, that he uh, that he's prepared and he's ready to go from a mental standpoint. Uh, he can't lose that edge that he that he got in training camp. That's something that, uh, that, that that's going to be important um, as he progresses his way back to getting on the field.